everybody. Hey, Skip. So, a little bit of backstory before I get into the main gist of this video. Um, so on my video, on, on, on Napalm of the Phoenix, I got to 100 videos in High Class Gamer. I was like, hey, I'm going to fucking celebrate. I'm going to do a little fun thing. I'm going to do a fun thing. I'm going to do like a retrospective thing, like look back at the 10 best and the 10 worst chosen by me of these things. It's, you know, just a, a good fucking guffaw. Just so, you know, we, we can fucking guffaw. And in the beginning, it's, it's a minute fucking throwaway fucking thing. Like, we, we kind of uh, gave some jabs to one, the skeptical heretic. He did not like that because, for you see, although the skeptical heretic fucking has an outer crusty shell, he is really as mushy and as thin as a fucking Kennedy's brain. Take your fucking pick of which Kennedy. So, Skip did not appreciate that, and he has thus challenged Rob, Kalins, and myself. Not Darth. Darth fucking got off easy. He was fucking there too, Skep. I don't know why. It's only us. So anyways, Skep's challenged us. We pick the game. He fucking does better in it than we do. So, here it is, Skep. This is my official challenge video. Once this video goes up, it, like, the challenge is official. If... You, if you do not do it, you are a craven coward. If you do do it, you are a man of your word. So, what game to pick? Now, I know what a lot of you are thinking. Tower Toppler. And a lot of you are probably thinking that because a lot of you probably saw this video where I said as much. Like, you gotta play fucking Tower Toppler. That's a red hair. That was a feeler. I wanted to feel you up. <laughs> wow. I wanted to fill you up, Skip. There we go. There we go, everybody. Clip that fucking out. Use that against me forever. I want to fill you up, Skip. I want to fill you up. But anyways, back on fucking a non-homoerotic fucking track with this video. I wanted... I wanted... To get a gauge of like how serious Skep was willing to go with this and how far he was willing to go with it. So I, I that's why I went fucking insane where it was like, you have to beat Tower Toppler in less time than I've played it overall. Because like nobody, like who would do that? No, nah, that was just crazy. I just, because I wanted to see if you would actually go with something just insane. And you did it. And in fact, you told me as much. In fact, what you told me, and this is what I'm going to use to fucking burn you, Skip. You told me, with me especially, since I guess, I guess, like, let's be honest here, I'm the first level boss of this chat. Well, that's giving me way too much fucking credit. I'm, I'm more like the fucking first level mini boss of this fucking challenge. So... So you, what you said is, all you have to do, and Tower Toppler was the example, for example, all you would have to do in Tower Toppler was make it to level 3. All you would have to do is match and then surpass me. Not beat the game necessarily. So, that got me to thinking. I had to pick, I had to pick a game where I got somewhat far into it. So that ruled out like that ruled out most of my my top ten worst games except for the top three: Nikki Ball and Roll, Choin Anki on the PlayStation, and fucking Clay Fighter. So Nikki Ball and Roll was out for like. Well, one, I don't know if you have a Wii or not, Skip. I, I, I kind of assume that you have a Wii, since, like, most people have a Wii. But the main reason is I'm not going to make somebody buy something for this. 
this is like, especially since like that game is so fucking terrible. Like I honestly, I should get my five fucking hundred Wii points back for that. Sorry, one second. Got fucking dry mouth out the fucking asshole. So I don't. I was gonna let you play. Uh, I was gonna let have you pay for something and. To be honest, it wouldn't work emulated because, like, the whole thing is about, like, the Wii Motion and all that crap. So, that was out. So, it really came down between Choin Anki and Clay Fighter. Choin Anki, I haven't beaten it, but I've made it far enough in that game to where it would be a real fucking nuisance for you to fucking have to play it. If anything, just you having to beat that first level with the fucking man dick dude, like, would be enough for me. Clay Fighter, I've actually made it to the final boss in that, and on video. So that's, that one's the interesting one. Both of them, though, also would be good for me, because, like, they're they're both almost un, undescribably bad. Like, Clay Fighter is one of the worst fighting fucking games ever. And Choin Anki is just one of the worst fucking games ever. So, so it came down to those two. And both of them are easily uh, emulatable and, and have multiple fucking ROMs out there. In fact, that's one of the re only reasons that anybody knows a fucking Choi Anki, because that, that was one of the fucking first places most Westerners fucking played that shit, was on fucking emulators. But in the end, I'm going to go with Clay Fighter. Because cause I've gone farther in that game. That game is fucking horrible. And it also, it plays into this, because I got a lot of fucking shit on my top ten list. Because they were like, oh, nostalgia, 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 nostalgia. Especially when I picked Clay Fighter as the third worst game I've played. Because, seriously, Clay Fighter is one of the worst fucking fighting games ever. So that's why I kind of want you to, that's why I really want you to play this game. I just want somebody else to be like, yeah, you know what? Napalm is right. All joking aside, he sucks at fucking games, but he is 100% fucking right when he says Clay Fighter fucking sucks. So that's your fucking challenge, Skep, Clay Fighter. And you have to fucking beat it because I've gotten into the final fucking boss. So there you fucking go, Skep. Now, as for the other terms of this, um, as just for like general terms, uh, I guess, like, once you start, you'll, you'll only lose if I beat it before you, which probably won't fucking happen. Um, let's see. You have to, you have to do the Genesis version. I mean, if you can't find a ROM of the Genesis version, I might accept the Super Nintendo version. But, like, you definitely can't play Clay Fighter Championship Edition. You can't. You cannot play the edition where they fucking fix shit. You have to play the original first fucking Clay Fighter. No fucking, no re-release, no nothing. Just fucking original Clay Fighter. And what else? I'm not going to handicap you on characters, whoever you want to play. You can play. Um, not going to really handicap you on, like, the parts like you have a time limit. You have to you have to beat it within three hours. No, nah, I'm not gonna do that. Um so yeah, Clay Fighter on the Genesis, preferably. If you can't fucking find the Genesis, I will accept the original on the Super Nintendo, but not Championship Edition. Once again, you cannot it's it's not gonna be like fucking stupid nebulous with fucking Tower Toppler, where he Clearly fucking played a easier, better fucking made version of the fucking game I've been playing. You're not going to fucking do that kind of chicanery, Skep. You have to basically play the same version as I do. I will accept the fucking Super Nintendo version because control-wise, it's a fucking, it's pretty much the same. And, 
Like, the only real difference is, graphically, it looks a smidge fucking better, and the music's a little better. But, you have to play the original Clay Fighter and beat it. That's your fucking challenge, Skep. So, there you go. Balls in your court.